This is a reading of Brenda's blog titled, Hello, Terrible Twos. Dear ones, perhaps you feel unsure of your actions and reactions, similar to how you felt when you were learning to maneuver your bicycle without training wheels. Such is so because you're emotionally crossing into new territory, a land of heeding your needs and hopes instead of those of others. At the same time, others are in a similar process. So it feels, and rightly so, as if two-year-olds reign in your world. <laughs> of course, stating it in that fashion makes you laugh, for you can see how ludicrous your emotional shifts have become. Your friends, relatives, co-workers, and employers are reacting similarly, allowing for an all-out mixture of me, me, me. Many of you have been concerned about this mixture since we of the universes indicated you are learning to love yourself as much as others. You are likely now experiencing your worst self-love nightmare. You have trained for earthly eons to care for others before yourself. Now others are demanding more of you because of their needs, while you feel you must try to fulfill their needs as you search for your peace. In a sense, you're living in a world of two-year-olds, a phase that will end within a few days. What you will discover in this awkward phase is that you have new need requirements. That despite the needs of others, you must fulfill your needs first. You are transitioning from feelings of 3D selfishness to knowing you must place the oxygen mask on yourself before doing the same for those you love. Many of you think you have been practicing self-love for months or years. We of the universe has begged to differ. This self-love phase is more direct. Those who crossed the 5D Rubicon months ago tested self-love with an inner message of, what about them? Am I considering them? Before acting on self-love. You are now experiencing an inner shift from placing your oxygen mask on first with questions of morality and rightness to doing so automatically. A two-year-old does not care if they make you late for work. They have a need to declare the rightness loudly and specifically, as is becoming true for you. Self-love is no longer a process but an inherent right you never before claimed in any earth life. You will perhaps remind yourself of a previous earth life where you were leader, wealthy, or seemingly negated social mores. Yet you acted upon society's outer-directed rules by adhering to the clothing, comments, actions, or whatever framework was necessary to continue your supposed right to rule. No one can rule without the consent of others. And that is what is so confusing to you and others now. Even though you do not wish to follow anyone, you want to remain part of some social circles. In the future, this earth shift will be expected and accepted, just as the 3D terrible twos are now. Until there is no longer a need to shift anyone or anything from outer-directed 3D to inner-directed beings. You are now in the midst of personal chaos. Something that horrifies you, for this new self-love seems counterintuitive, even mean at times. No longer are you the shy adult wondering if you hurt someone's feelings. You are an independent individual, fully capable of honoring yourself. Others will try to force you to return to your caretaking mode because... Like a two-year-old, those of 5D do not care what you need at the moment, and those of 3D never really have. For in 3D, caretaking was not as much about the individual as it was about social needs and mores. The result of self-love will be a new earth order in which the individual is more important than society. That phrase seems almost impossible now. 
For if everyone acts upon their needs, how can anyone fully interact with others? A large part of your 3D fear life was worrying about social mores. That part of your world is over. You are beginning to act on your inner voice, the voice bathed in love that is creating your new world. This current self-love phase allows you to separate from the masses, even those you love, for a short time, which will enable you to find comfort and ease within your new inner being. Accept this world of terrible twos for a few days, so you can adjust to the new center that speaks from your heart instead of the social rules you have lived by for eons. The result will not be the chaos you currently experience, but instead a different range of interests, highlighting for you and others that social rules no longer dominate. Your social circle will be created by you to meet your needs. You might be with one group or an individual until they are no longer of interest, only to find new interests. And so it will go for all who have transitioned beyond 3D, a number multiplying by millions daily. You created a new world. Now allow yourself to fully experience it, even if this current phase is a bit uncomfortable. You are declaring to yourself and others that you are finally you while of the earth. So be it.